Hi there everybody, welcome, this is Farmer Bob, welcome to my channel, if this is your first time, hit that subscribe and the like, and thank you so much for joining in and watching, I really appreciate man. <laughs> Good, uh, yes, uh, today we are finally back on my latest map, Hogs Back, uh, in South Africa, it's a real place in South Africa, and we're busy making the map, so this series is all about um, all the exciting things that goes into making a map, and um, you are here to obviously enjoy the ride with me, <laughs> so that is good. So let's just continue on Hogs Back, my um, newest or latest map that I'm busy working on. Just want to quickly have a look here what's going on here. There you go. I've just recently upgraded to Windows 11 and <laughs> there's some few bugs still to be sorted um, by Microsoft. So yes, um, obviously um, stuff isn't working as it should always. But anyway, we, we, we continue and press on. It's exciting <laughs> as usual. Great. So um, having a look at the farmyard, guys, um, there is nothing really going on here yet. I've just placed whatever was in the previous map farmyard here at the location where I want to actually make the actual farm yard and you'll notice that my um, um, my console is open here um, I normally has a habit try and remember to do it whenever you open your map just open your console a bit up and just go through everything and make sure there's no errors because if there is errors it means that your i3d has a problem <laughs> and then you have to sort that out before you continue because if you continue with errors it means you're going to just build on it you know um, so sort out errors if there is otherwise everything is great like in this case we are so happy <laughs> good all right the first thing i want to have a look at is um these buildings are the original um maps buildings uh, i obviously don't want to use some of them and i have already placed a building there it's a large shed just for fun um however come to think of it i'll have a look at that it's got garage doors and everything so yeah it, it might like might be a nice one to use um things like the um the silo i think i might keep that or maybe maybe this round we'll put a nice silo down one of those large multi-fruit things you know <laughs> i think let's go for that i want to build in a mod you know there's some nice mods with multi-fruit uh silos so, so let's take that as a as a add on to the to the map and uh, play with that okay the first thing obviously is uh the farmhouse will be under our um what do you call that thing the placeholders folder if you click on that you can easily see which of the buildings is in your placeholders folder so those ones um, are the ones that are being loaded in via xml via your default items so um, the ones that is highlighted i'm going to have a look at the ones i don't want and then we're going to have to find them in the xml and remove them as well from the xml because otherwise you're going to have them popping up in game again you know <laughs> you don't want that <coughs> and it, it might be at, at strange places because where i've put them here is not where the xml is going to load them because they are originally from the game's xml you know so we're going to have to fix that up good um yeah yeah i think like this thing for instance i don't like this one it's on players farm right so the players farm folder or, or transform is another sub transform in the placeholders so that one has got all those in so it will be easy in my um xml to to now find i must just make sure of the names so farm stable is that one so that one is called farm stable r so let's have a look in our transform uh, in our xml we just get to that one uh, no it's not that folder i'm a bit rusty guys just give me a sec <laughs> default items there it is <laughs> okay so now we look for a thing called um now i've lost my chain of thought here a thing called farm stable there you go so farm stable and there it is so that one we need to remove so we just delete that one for now so you just click here on the side don't try and highlight it because that leaves you sometimes with spaces and all kinds of things you don't want so just click on on the left side and hit delete it will delete the whole line um, you can select multiple lines here on the side but just do them one at a time so now we've got gotten rid of that one 
we can actually physically now delete this one in the game okay so there you go uh, modular holes is that one I'm definitely not going to use that one so let us get rid of that as well so it's modular holes zero one now I've, I've in the past found that sometimes these things are not called modular holes um, you will probably find it's going to be easy shed easy shed 01 these sheds I've found that in the original game they are named different from what you import them just to show you if we go back into um, farming simulator 19 which is the actual map open that in a new window uh, we go to data we go to placeables we go to uh, is it sheds sheds yes and you'll find them here so easy shed um, in our XML easy shed 01 if we go back to the folder easy shed 01 is that one there so let's open that and see what it looks like then you get an idea of what easy shed 01 is um, and I'm gonna guarantee you it's that one <laughs> you see so yeah it's called modular holes 01 and for some reason the programmers of giant thought it would be a big joke and be very funny <laughs> to call it a different name you know in the in the xml you know so there you go uh easy shed zero one is the one that we want to chuck so let's get rid of that one because i'll put my own sheds down i like my own sheds and now to make sure we've got that one we can delete that the next one is form shed yeah that one also you see the problem with these giant things is they are big waste of space on your farmyard so when you place a shed you want to make it usable take this one now for instance this um sorry i've missed it now this farm shed let's just zoom into it uh let me select it one more time farm storage now you see that thing is now thrown away by there we go farm shed press f and it will bring you close to it um if you look at this farm shed now there's nothing usable on this thing in other words you can't go into it it's just a building standing there that is a waste of space on your yard i would much rather place something there with a door that i can open that is actually usable in game you know so with a door and lights and whatever that you can really um make access of the space and not waste that space so those things are I think gone are the days that we put stuff in a map that is just um, a building, you know, that is just there for the looks. <laughs> we want to use that space, man. <laughs> you get my drift, eh, guys? Right, so let's have a look at this one. Farm Shed R. So now we're going to find Farm Shed R. Uh, farm Shed R. So we have Farm Shed. Um, placeables map us uh, farm buildings farm shed you see once again now now you're gonna have to go and prod in the folder actually to find out which of this one is now farm shed r you know um, that's what I, I sometimes i like to make things easy for myself keep your name of your structure the same so that you don't like this now try and figure out which is what so name the things the same you know in your xml name it the same so in your directory where you place it name it the same so that so that you don't have this kind of problem you know so now we're gonna have to go to um i wonder if it will be in here i didn't now look at the actual place where it is stored it is us farm buildings farm shed all right so let us have a look at that sheds um so it is placeables map us farm buildings farm shed uh, farm shed farm shed farm shack farm stable farm storage did i miss it farm barn there's a farm barn we're looking for a farm shed we don't we're not looking for the farm barn yet <laughs> we still at the farm shed okay there it is farm shed my eye caught it so open that up have a look at the name in the transform it's called farm shed okay just farm shed so that is definitely 
not that we are looking for in the XML, is it? Form shed R. Just gonna close that. Form shed players form form shed R. No, that definitely almost looks like it, but why is it named Form Shed R? It is the same building. You see that. But in the in the in the in the actual map they've they've re renamed it to Form Shed R for some reason. Um maybe there's another one somewhere on the map, you know, that is just placed and this one they've I see all the bonds and that they've made an R next to it. So we're gonna have to delete that, um get rid of that one. Because we know that is the only one that's there. And unfortunately I've already changed the the, the um the coordinates for it here in my map so it's not the same as the xml anymore but doesn't matter let's just delete that one form shed r so make sure that one is gone and then in the xml do the same thing form shed selected deleted then we have form garage form shack form storage form old barn you're going to probably find all of them but you you get in my drift so I'm going to go through these and just get rid of all of the ones I don't want on the map. And then once I'm done with that, I'll catch you with hopefully a clean yard. <laughs> and uh, let's carry on from there. Good stuff. Uh, what do you call it? Quite funny. So um, if we go to Giants Editor, I've just had a refresh here from Windows 11 again. Um, if we go to Giants Editor, you will notice that this farm shack they've misspelled it's called farm snack <laughs> so even giants makes faults when it comes to directory and naming and that now here in the in the game where you've got your own uh, right of way you can rename your your, your building in the map because this is just a placeholder remember guys it's not really there so this names doesn't really matter here uh, but in the xml it is very important to have the right name and pointing to the right spot to the right i3d and the right xml you know so uh i just thought it's quite hilarious um it's the first time i found a spelling mistake on their behalf you know farm snack <laughs> it's so funny anyways i just thought i'll throw that in there for the fun but it just shows you how easy it is to make a small mistake and if you made that mistake in your XML, you will find uh, error in game. Oh, the I3D is not found. Because that's a very common error in, in game is I3D not found. Because remember now, the XML that you're pointing here loads the I3D. So if we go now to farmshack.xml, which will be in the actual game, you'll find farm shack, not farm snack. <laughs> you open that XML, it loads the I3D. So there it is, farm shack. You see, so if that was misspelled, that XML will tell you, oh, the I3D was not found. So that normally results into errors in game and the stuff doesn't appear because <laughs> there's an error. So you don't see your mo mod when, when it doesn't load correctly. Good. And I can see my, my thing is hanging again. There you go. Windows 11. All the bugs need to be sorted. So Farm Garage, if you look at that, um, it's a useless building. Now in your normal garage, when you load that, it will have a little icon and you can modify your vehicles there. But this thing is just a thing wasting space. It looks good, but it's a prop. It's got no function at all. So just to just to clarify that point and sort of nail it into the into the wood, you know, the nail. <laughs> Good. Okay, great guys. Um, while I was busy deleting all of that, uh, most of them are gone now. There is a few other stuff that's still here that I will get rid of later on. Um, but for now, we've got a, a better yard. I still want to get rid of this one. Uh, the um, what do you call it? The silo so we're going to place a nice big silo in there i've got one in mind already a multi-fruit silo but guys the farmhouse i'm going to give you a chance to uh, sort of give your input into this map just for fun so um what i would like is have a look at mods available with farmhouses 
and let me know which farm mouse that you think will be nice to put in here and then I will use that farm mouse just send me the link as well uh, I will choose one out of whoever sent and uh, we will build that one into the map as a sort of a side project you know um, great so yes there's an opportunity guys for you to have an input into hogs back <laughs> let's choose the farm mouse together I will uh, wait for your feedback for a week or so and then I will choose one of the of the farm houses that's been uh, um, suggested by you guys um, as I say just drop a um, an email to me don't put it in the, or you can do a reply with the link I will have a look at the, uh, or not the reply don't do a reply because I don't get um, reply updates on uh, YouTube I don't know why they don't send out reply updates but they do comment so if you do a comment a new comment I do get an email with that so just drop a, a, a comment uh, down below with your link and what farmhouse do you think uh, will be nice here on Hawks back um, yes let's let's do that that will be loads of fun <laughs> good so I'll wait for you guys's feedback on the farmhouse I will delete this one for now or let me keep that one in there just for uh, a, a space keeper you know so that we can allocate a place in the on the farmyard for the house however I think I've already done that uh, I think we'll like the farmhouse to be there and the storage there and then our, um, our our silo will be here so i'm going to work now on the silo get ready to do that after i've deleted this one and then yeah i'll catch you guys there good great guys so um i've found this the silo that was in my mind i've actually used this silo in one of our let's plays um a while back we played a map called Sandfeld, one of my maps that I've made. And um, in that Let's Play, I added this silo to the mix because uh, <laughs> it's a nice big one. It's got a lot of storage and I will show you how it looks now. But first of all, what you want to do is open the zip file like so. And there it is. And then don't try and open the i3d here, but just open the i3d once you've unzipped it. So if you open the i3d out of the zip, you will get 200 errors. Just let me just show you what happens. It will tell you it can't find this and can't find that and replacing it with this and replacing it. So just don't open it directly out of the zip. All you do is, um, like I've done already for us in my map, created a folder for it under placeables and I made a folder for, for player farm because we're going to add some stuff in the... Um, so I just want my things nice and sorted, you know, so I've got my placeables here and then player form is there and in there I've created a folder multi fruit silo. So this directory now becomes the new directory for the XML file um, of the i3d. So or the whole mod for instance. So we're going to open that and then just go into the zip file, take everything in the zip, just unzip it in here like that and there you are now you can open that uh, silo or the mod and i'll show you what it looks like it's a beautiful silo it's made by gsi um, very very nice silo multi-fruit also so uh, it is nice and handy to to place on your farm <laughs> so this is my choice for for the silo i leave the house choice up to you guys good so the next thing obviously to do is um, to look if everything is fine in the mod here. If there is any changes that you want to make to that, do it here in the um, i3d and save it. Because when you import this i3d, it everything that you want to do on it, it should be already there. You know, so don't um, if you want to add anything to this mod, do it like that and save it, and then you import it afterwards. Because if you make changes to this afterwards, you're going to have to come here into the i3d and update your changes and save it again and then delete it in the game and re-import it for safety, you know, because otherwise stuff doesn't look the same. <laughs> I'm just sharing that with you. Okay, cool. Right, guys, so we're back into the map. Um, just to clarify something for, for, um, for those who are interested, when you... Uh, make a map you will normally have for your farm only for for the uh, um, the player farm I can call it um, that will be your default farm where if you play the first game mode everything is there and the other two game modes if you select those um, start from scratch and the other one 
uh, it chucks away all the stuff that is in your XML, the placeholders folder. So these ones will be thrown away. And if you go into your XML, you will find at the end, it says form ID 1 and default form property is true. So if the default form property true value is set, it means that when you load your game in that first one, um, form manager, um, that building will be there. If it's set false, it will mean it will always be there. <laughs> so be careful with that. And that is why in the map itself, I can actually close that now, we finished with the mod. Why in the map itself, if you're in the map, there will be the, the player's form, where all your placeholders is put that um, transform will be there and then also there will be another transform where the stuff is there that will always be there in the map regardless you know like this is it yeah players form you see so all this stuff is like rocks and a uh, um, windmill and stuff that you want to be there on the map regardless of the game mode you know so there will be two directories always for your player form the other forms and all the other stuff on the map will always just be in the direct or in the um, scene graph in in their own folders um, uh, respectively you know um, but the ones loaded by xml will always be in your um, placeholders folder because you don't really load them in game from here it loads via the xml if you understand what i'm saying <laughs> good right so next up we're going to import um, our our silo now a silo I wanted to form like a circle route I like to do that so there's space for trucks and stuff to drive to come in and dump and go out you know so following the road coming in this way and coming in that way I want to try and make like a circle so our silo um, thinking of placing it here you know so that you can come in drive through without any hassles you know always ni nice to have a flow on the form <laughs> good so let's import that uh, mod so we're going to import we're going into sheds no we're going back to hogs back maps placeables um, player form multi fruit silo and silo complex now i can't say this enough guys always make sure that you import things out of your map directory unless it is in the default game maps if you import from the default ma game maps no no sweat at all but if you import something anything else that is not in the in the default game map um, you need to import it directly from your from your map folder good so now i just need to get to my players farm again and i want to go to the one that is the one with the uh, xml loads or the the one under the placeholders folder good and i'm gonna paste it yeah i'm just gonna paste it in the directory of the players form so there you go control v i've control x on it earlier on because when you input something it drops down to the bottom of your scene graph and for now i'm going to place it with control b while it's selected and we're going to just sort of set it down here um move it about and see i think something like that will be fine let's have a look i've just dropped it there get an idea and now we can move it about on this axis so that we have the the right positioning or, or what i say angle so that we can actually come a bit closer there control b again what's nice about control b is it will place it directly on the ground for you so you don't have to worry about the height um i think something like that should be enough space so we have this two two ramps here going in and out so you can come through drive through i think that is perfect good so now that we're happy with that we have set silo set yeah you can leave it that name doesn't matter like i say this is in your only in your um in your i3d so the name of the the mod here doesn't really have any relevance you know because it's going to be loaded directly via xml straight from the i3d into the into the actual map when you open it into the game good so now that we have that there 
and we have now our um, our uh, all our translations and everything sorted. I'm going to show you now the next step, how to get the right line into your XML. Because now we want to bring that mod into the XML, and we've got no idea what the map bound ID is, the class name, any of those. And you want to you want to be precise with those, otherwise you're going to have errors. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Okay, so what you want to do, guys, is find your original mod, the actual mod that you have unzipped. Drop that into your mods folder for the game, and we're going to go into game and work f work with it from there. So that's our next stop. So, um, I don't have it in my team or in my mods folder currently because I was busy uh, working on some um, things and add-ons and all kinds of stuff. Great, so I'll meet you in game. Okay guys, so what we're doing now, um, I'm in the game, so make a note of um, your save game slot that you're gonna use. I'm just gonna use number three for instance, so double click on that. New farmer mode, Ravenport map, that's any map that you want, but I'm just by default use my one of the in-game maps just for fun. Uh, whatever, continue, make sure your mod that you're gonna use is in here. In my case, Mega Silo Complex, that's in there, so we go start, and let's put up the map and what's what's going to happen now is the map is going to load the original mod into the into the game so it's available in the map so that we can uh, actually just select it and build it into the map physically so yeah we don't want any training hopefully we know how to play the game <laughs> good man <coughs> sorry i just want to clear my throat there good um next things up get rid of this mini map Let's go into uh, some development tools. Just add a bit of money for us because we need to buy some stuff. Good. Purchase. Uh, now to find the mod that we want. It might be under silos, I think. Let's have a look there. Mega silo. We want the mega silo with multi fruit, which is that one. Mega silo 9. So that's a 9. There's a 5. We want the big one, so go for the big one with multi fruit. So mega silo nine multi fruit. That one, yes. Yeah, it's got this little. That one has got three. This one has got five of these big uh, silos. So let's go for the go for the big one. <laughs> let's not play around, guys. Good. So you select that. Um, obviously, we want to place it somewhere. Doesn't matter where you place it, because in game you're going to, <coughs> in your map you're going to change the the um the coordinates anyway you know so we just need to spot to put it but this map is not really flat difficult to get the spot for this huge thing oh there you go no that's not going green it's going yellow it's very 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 tiny little place so let me see if i can get a spot that we own um and then obviously Maybe maybe on this side. Uh, it's not going to not going to help. let us uh, put it down there. Okay, let us get out of there. Let us just um, purchase some land that is flat. I know here on top is normally a nice spot. So you just need a place to pick this huge or put down this huge massive thing you know uh let's buy that great and so now we can go to field 13 we know we've got that one um mega silo 9 multi fruit uh let's just turn the map a bit like so hold the shift and you can quickly move up field 13 was this one here on top it's like a strange looking um field Ah, that's much better place it down and there you go that is what you want um, so now we can go click there visit it and there it is now it is placed in the map and what has happened now is your 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 game in that save game that you've selected save game 3 in my case it's now going to generate us a line in the in the items XML of that save game for this mod that we've selected and that is what we need 
So now we're going to go escape, click save the game, because we want the save game, <laughs> quit the game, go out of the whole business. So I'm going to get out there. Good. Now we go to our farming simulator directory. You go to your save game 3 and you open the items XML. It, note it doesn't say default items, but it's the same thing, items XML. Right guys, so now that we've opened the items.xml um, in the save game, the easiest way to do is to make sure what your mod is called. Uh, in this type, or this scenario, this mod has got a few different XMLs running different um, selections in game and we've selected the nine multi fruit one which was that one there but but now it's called mega silo so the easiest way to do it i know this one you can clearly see is right there on top but if you can't find it it can sometimes be tedious to go through the whole thing and figure out which one is yours you know so the easiest will be to hit control f do a search uh, and in there find what you you put in there mega just mega is more than enough um, just make sure that you don't have any of these selected yet and search mode is normal you can just find next and it will pop up the name that you've typed in there for your mod you will easily find it that way great now that we have the whole line what we can do is drop drag this whole thing from there right down to the other one so so basically you want everything between the item because from start item to end item the end item is with this hash or not hash the forward slash um, so from there to there you want to copy that control C and you want to go into your default items right at the bottom just add a new line go back make sure you're at home so you press the home button so your cursor is right at the, uh, the beginning control V to paste it and there it is and here you'll see our red line is going straight to the top which means that the whole items between that two is perfect if there was a problem anywhere here you will see the line will stop and there will be um, not a connection with the red line good okay so now we have our right class name our right mod name this we're going to change uh, because now obviously we're not importing the mod uh, um, you can do it this way but then you will have you need to have the mod in your uh, in your game directory so bit of a bit of a drag to have the mod always there you know especially when you're building a map you want everything to be integrated in the map so you can zip the whole map and everyone can just open it one time the downside of this is you're going to have to make sure everything on this mod that you're using in your map is working perfect because if that mod needs to be updated it's going to be a quite a story because now you have to physically download the new update extract it and overwrite it in your map directory it becomes quite a mission you know to to work with something if, it, uh, if, the, if there's an update needed for it uh, whereas if you had the mod just in your map directory it was easy as pie just overwrite it and there you go it works you know so um, yes that's the downside of that okay so our next things to do so now that we have the right class name the right uh, the, this we're going to all change obviously the directories we're going to change here's our positioning rotation um, the stuff like age you don't need you can delete that price you can delete and bought with form you can delete oh Oh, made, made a mess bought with form be very careful here guys that you don't delete the wrong stuff um, I'm going to just leave it like so and um, so rotation all that is fine storage form ID 1 that is fine we can leave that I sometimes delete all this other stuff as well you know but just for now I'll leave them there to test later on okay so everything here seems all right you've got purple item if, if if the item is purple as well if you select something that's a start and end if there's a problem it won't be purple you know if something was out of place or wrong or or whatever good form id1 rotation position file name mod id2 id2 we can delete you're not going to need that it is not part of 
of the um, the X the, the the map XML so we can chuck that too right everything looks all right now I'm gonna just save it like that for now mod disk that we can close it was the mods its own good all right so the next thing um, you want to delete the mod name we're not going to use the mod name so basically we are mimicking the the original line of of the XML file so if you look at um, the other class names what you can actually do just to be safe you can cut that control X and place it right under the one that says um, just class name because the rest of them are map bound IDs all the others are map bound IDs which means a map bound ID means it's something that's always there in the game it's not um, it's not a uh, one that comes with a form ID and all that, you know. It's it, it's a it's a uh, um, a mod or a um, a thing in the game that will be always there, right? So if you understand what I mean, so we create a new line there, press the home button, press the V, Control V, place it there, and now you can see class name, file name, position, rotation, and form ID. Now, in our case, we're going to add a default form ID to it because it is going to be part of our default form. So you're going to control C that, control V, just place it in there, one space there. Make sure that the spaces is where it is and everything is just fine, you know. Uh, we're adding the default form property because um, whenever you select the other game modes, then this whole item will not show. So that's why the default form property is there. So you leave it as true and all will be well so now we have the correct class name uh, the file name we're going to now point to the right XML we want the 9MF XML you see so that is the directory we're going to have to look for here at our hogsback map placeables player multi fruit silo so the 9MF that's the one we want to point to so we need this directory here so we we want maps placeables and that whole directory there so control C to copy back into the XML and we're going to overwrite this whole thing because we're not using a mod anymore uh, up to that last forward slash we paste it in there and now we're going to change all the forward uh, backslashes to forward slashes so that it is working in the right order and way so there you go and we're going to add in front of that a um, uh, there's a map 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 where is it I don't see one here these are all in game stuff so we're going to go quickly to uh, one of my other games mods uh, not hogs back let's go into one of my other games just to get the right post pre thing that we have to put in there Frickly Frickly will have some mods in it Let's open Frickly, animate it, close, uh, maps, default items. Okay, here we go, map there. So we want dollar, dollar, map there, dollar. That is it. So what it does, it just tells the, the game when it loads this, that it needs to look at the map directory and then maps. And that's it you don't need to put the, the map itself because the the, the 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 place where the 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 default items already lies picks up where it is so you just need to put your maps after that from from that directory onwards so it's dollar map to dollar and obviously maps placeables player form and then that 9mf is the next one that we need to now quickly have a look at so we're going to open that xml to modify that because that is also changed so we're going to save this for now uh, we can close that one now back into uh, multi fruit silo make sure it's the one in the right directory and we're going to open this XML and in here this has changed this is not a mod anymore so we need to change this directory um, as well as the image for the store all right, so what we're going to do is find that same um, directory that we've placed that side here. This same one, it will only be from there to there now. Let's just do it like so, Control C. 
back into the XML. We add that in front of it, because now it's pointing to the R3D. Put a forward slash there. So we now need to verify maps placeables if that is where our R3D is lying. So we're going to find our R3D again. There it is, silo complex. So it is going maps, placeables, player farm, multi-fruit silo, silo complex, I3D. That is what we should read when we uh, look at that. So it's maps, placeables, player farm, multi-fruit silo, silo complex, I3D. If there's anything in this directory that or, or this, this uh, folder directory that is wrong, just a comma or a capital letter or a small letter or a slash that's not right, you will get the... The error that says i3d not found okay so now we know that is fine the next thing is obviously this one here the image and find this image store silo complex look at, at the directory where that is located in the mod itself store silo complex um, there is two of them um, just want to have a look icons what is that um, what is that it's looking for? Store Silo Complex 9. Sorry, that is the right one. Store Silo Complex 9. So back to the directory. Mod temp. Uh, let's go there. Store Silo Complex 9. So here it is. It is in the root of that fo folder. So just make sure. Sometimes they place it in other folders. Um, just make sure that you've got the right directory to that. So everything is exactly the same as the other one. We can just paste it in there. And now instead of doing all that work over again, we can just copy this like that. Control C. Put it there in front of it. Control V. Maps, placeables, play for multiple. Okay, excellent. Now, the next thing is sometimes or most of the time in, in this things they've got animated objects. Um, now this could give you an error in the game uh, if the animated objects has got sounds and all that type of stuff um, connected to it. Let me just have a look if there's any sounds on this uh, keyframe because you have to change the directory for the sound files as well. But in this case, a seasons clearable as storage is. Uh, loading station. Okay. Everything looks A okay. Um, you can save it as is. And now we are ready to actually work with that in, in game. So um, at this point, my map is very far from um, from uh, um, playable, <laughs> but I can open it in game and test it. Um, but I'll have to filter through 200 errors and uh, make sure that this one doesn't give me any funny errors or funny business, you know. Um, but in all intents and purposes, there's one thing we still need to add, and that is in our um, in our modesk file we need to add this mod in our modesk file so um, at this point let's go back here what we what the modest do is you want again the um, the xml file so default items so this whole line here you want to add to the mod to the modesk so we open our maps modesk so i get to our maps modic modesk file which should be in the root of the map always because otherwise the game doesn't know it and then obviously as usual there is absolutely nothing in this because it's a new map so now we're going to go back to mods temp uh, let's do freakly again i've got some some nice stuff in there i've got two freaklies open now <laughs> good and let's just open its mod disk and in here at store items we can just grab anything there just see if there's a store items here uh, maps multiplayer icons no store items so we need to add a store items so i'm just going to grab a store items from there and delete all of them e except for one so we're going to copy that Control c back to our mod disk after one of these sections go add a line or two press the home button Control v and these are store items section added to our mod disk. Now the rest of these we don't need. Um, I'm just going to trash all of them like so. We only need one. And the XML file that we're going to place 
our whole little XML file name in there. Um, that one we can now close. We finished with that. We want to go back here to not to the i3D that is saved. So we're happy with that. We want to go back to the default items. We want to copy that whole line up to the end of the XML. Control C back into our mod desk. Overwrite this whole bit. Yeah, that's the easiest way to do it, guys. To make sure you don't make make mistakes, you know. Since now we know this whole store items was tested tested and proven in the previous map we are copied it from, and I know there's no errors here, and I've just replaced a little inner there, so it must work, you know. It just sorts out so many issues if you do it that way. Let's make it nice and close. We're going to add a lot of stuff in here still. Great. So if you have that two things done, the modisk as well as the default items. It's time to test it in game. And then you can obviously open your map in game, check it out and see what errors there is. If there is any sound errors or whatever, you just need to change the directory in in that uh um in that XML of the mod itself, uh in your map folder. Not the mod, but in your map folder. Remember we're working with the one in our map folder now. <laughs> Good. Alright, so I'm gonna open open my map and uh, have a look of it, at it in game. I'll see you there. Hi there guys, there is beautiful there it is in map. Um one thing I've do did forgot to mention, remember to update your coordinates for it. Because at the moment um it's loaded on the coordinates that we just dragged over from from the the Felsbrunn map <laughs> directly so it's totally in the wrong place the wrong height um, everything so um, yeah it's there in game but I wanted to test it so um, I'm going to quickly fix that so go out change the the, the correct uh, um, thing is a quick game we don't need to save because obviously we're gonna come back good quit the game that's what's so nice now about working directly with the unzipped map folder in your mods directory is you don't need to zip unzip zip unzip you can directly access it uh, into the maps uh, quickly open it here in the editor without unzipping without fiddling around and it saves your hard drive guys like you won't believe okay let's just wait for the editor to open there you go all right so what we need to do now is select it here just get to the actual uh, silo set there it is that is the, the the whole map and this now we need to place into our, our um, default items so hogs back uh, back to the map default items and there it is so this we need to update the position and the rotation needs to be done so we're going into the game first thing is click here by the the translate x y and z that's our position we're going to go uh control shift and c for copy and control shift c will copy all three of these for you at one time so we're going to click there go back here at position you want to select the whole thing between the little um inverted commas or whatever you call that and then you go just control and v to paste and there it is you can verify it 83805 and don't matter it don't, don't worry if if the editor has rounded it off to some weird number as long as it's close 83.805 we go back into the editor 83805 45 4, 4, 488 45 488 you know it's the same same thing and then rotation obviously you want to select that back into the editor uh, rotate click on the first one control shift c copy back into the xml control v just to overwrite it and there you are and now we can save and hopefully <laughs> go back in game you can leave this open you don't have to open and close um between um the game you know so there you go and i've directly now just edited in my map folder quick and easy let's have a look quick uh, where did I do it save m1 ah I didn't save it mine is still called sample mod with the original photo I haven't changed any of that yet um, now make sure I haven't taken this out of my game so I'm gonna deselect it because I don't want it I want it want to use the one in my map for the what you need to do before you start the games delete that um, or remove that um, original 
the zip mod out of your thing so that so that you can actually see that your your modified mod is working in the map you know so that is what we want to see so now once we've got that we should be able to quick and easy um, find it now have a look I still have the I still have the um, the PDA from the original game so don't worry about that um, oh my gosh where is this thing whoa I've made the rookie mistake guys um, I've made the rookie mistake and it's good that I make these mistakes because that way um, we can both together remember these things you know what has happened I'm going to show you exactly what has happened our mod is not here although it is underground somewhere but I'll show you why Another thing that I forgot to um, mention, escape, uh, let us not save it, let's just quit out, I'll quickly fix it, easy fix, and it's a good thing, like I say, that way we can uh, together remember and learn and, and all that nice goodies. So back in the map, I haven't changed anything here, I'm just going to not save it. Uh, I've already closed that so what we want to do is back into the map um, Hogsback maps you open the mod placeables player shed backs maps placeables it was called uh, player farm multi fruit silo sorry my mind is working ahead 10 times so I'm <laughs> I'm behind with what I'm actually physically doing <laughs> so okay, you open the map of the mod again um, that's why I said before you import it just um, make a hundred percent sure you've got everything right before you import it so silo set has to be zeroed um, silo complex all of that is zero it is actually zero Okay guys, it's an easy problem to, to solve. Um, just want to show you so that you can also understand what's going on. When I started this map, um, I've left like all the major stuff in the map so that I can reuse them by just replacing them. But what I've forgot to do is like for instance now this farm yard with players farm is a transform group and now I've moved that transform group from the zero line where it should actually be um, and I have um, moved the stuff about so unfortunately that is what causes this problem now now even though this is zeroed in the um, in the root of the actual mod when I place it in the game it's going to change this um, if we look at this one uh, for instance where's the, the silo set it's going to change this together with the actual root folder has also now got a position and this should be zero on the root on the on the on the root of this whole folder so what i'm going to have to do to fix it on mine and if you've got the same problem on yours remember if you move a transform from the zero line you're going to have this type of thing everything you put into that transform is going to going to uh, align itself to that transforms positioning and that is where the problem lies so I'm going to fix that up by zeroing this transform once again everything here needs to be zero so that it's in the middle of the map and then I'm going to have to reposition control B just everything in the transform form farmhouse is done so that is the large shed control B put that luckily we didn't have too much yet control B in here and that's what's so nice guys now we can all remember this all together and i'm just going to put it here for now and then now we're going to do the same on the xml again just get this right position and control shift c back into the thingamabobby here overwrite now with the correct coordinates control v and bob's your uncle we should be already in game control shift c when we've got this boy key um, sorted in game so let's have a look control v position rotation good save that good and now obviously i'm going to have to save my map as well because my map has changed save my map i normally like to just close uh, all the transforms right click and say um, 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 
collapse or and then say uh, at this point uh, I actually just forgot about it so let's just not, not worry about it good so once it says saved you can close and then back into the game and let's try it now hopefully third time lucky guys <laughs> good stuff all right um career new one new former and i've again forgotten about the mod to take it out but it, anyway we just deselect it deselect the actual mod so we don't want that in our in our map we want to work with the one in our map not the one in the mods folder good so let's see hopefully now let's get all the stuff out of the way mega silo visit it yeah that looks much better guys notice now um that the the shed here next to next to the um silo is gone because we haven't imported that via the xml it was part of the placeholders folder and i haven't added that to not nor the the, the farm mouse the farm mouse um, is somewhere but in the original game's pl placing you know although it's showing on the map uh, in our editor that it's here but it's not it actually gets loaded via xml good so this is our um our silo looking all nice the rotation is good the positioning is good what i want to do is just make sure it works um there's a little icon here to take the the head off so let's just have a look at this So that took away that thing with the shed. There's a way to get it back. I can't just can't remember now to get it back. But anyway, so it, it tells me that the mod is working, guys. So the functionality of the mod is it, that is been built into the mod is working. Uh, so where do we dump now? Now that that is gone. I don't see any place to dump it now. Or is it just oh here it is, sorry, it's in the grass. <laughs> good so you just removed the the huge uh, um, shed that was above it so that you can use trailers at tip all right so let's just quickly um add some money buy some stuff i just add a lot doesn't matter let's buy a tractor and a trailer um ah, doesn't matter what tractor any tractor will do let's buy yes and then we go out uh and a trailer any trailer one of those will be fine okay excellent let's just tap into our tractor yeah it's pretty appetizing fine it's gonna be interesting i must say right i forgot i should have actually displaced the the buying um the buying uh, a spot you can move the shop now with that mod that I've reviewed a few weeks back, which is quite, quite a nice mod. But anyways, while we're cruising, let's just fill this trailer with wheat. And um, see what happens when we tip it. <laughs> if it actually works. And remember, this is a multi-fruit, but now this map has not got multi-fruit yet, so I won't be able to add multi-fruit to the, to the silo yet. Once I've added multi fruit to the map, um, this silo is ready for multi fruit, so it should all be good. And there it is, it's working, guys. So we're just going to tip it and see. Our mod is working great. And if we're adding wheat now, we should actually see it here falling into our silos owned. Very nice. So it's working great, just as I wanted. And let's just try and unload it again. From our unloading spot i quite like this mod guys very 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 nice mod well done gsi i'll definitely give this guys credit in my map uh, credits now we're gonna go r just to dump some wheat back in here and i love the little red line for your um for your uh, um, dumping spot so you can align it nicely oh, it's beautiful well guys and that is my 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 video key uh just for the day just to um add something else to hogs back so that is now done now we can go back into the map and um, start working around this mod making it nice putting a road for it and we can start working on fencing we can i'm waiting for you guys for the farmhouse 
Don't forget to send me links for your farmhouse that you think I should put in here. And I will select one, the one I like, or one of the ones that are looking nice, fitting for the area. And we will place that in the map. So a bit, little bit of nice input on your side for um, hogs back, guys. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, guys. Take care, man. Remember to like and subscribe and also to hit that bell. And do share, guys. Really appreciate that. Take care, man. Cheers.